Except for a home and higher education, our biggest spend may be at the supermarket. Marketing mavens know how to make us spend more and on higher profit items. Well, this little talk hopefully provides an antidote so that without overspending, you end up buying what you want, both practically and psychologically. Key is to rehearse at least once away from the supermarket's marketing machine, which is designed to tempt you to overspend, consider these. How much of a reward should food be for you? Do you want to buy, for example, a small quantity of that calorie-dense favorite of yours? Uh, nuts, cheese, cake? Maybe just one donut, a nice small quantity like that, or a frozen apple pie that would take time and work to make edible. Buying a name brand, even a luxury brand, can feel good, even if its quality is no better, certainly not worth the price difference. For you, when is the cost worth it versus, say, the store brand? Well, here are some rationalities to keep the emotion in check. Consumer Reports found that Trader Joe's Two Buck Chuck, both red and white, rated higher, higher than wines costing 15 times, 15 times as much. Similarly, mainstream brand cosmetics score as high or higher than many high-priced ones. On the other hand, Best Foods, which is on the West Coast, or Hellman's, the same thing on the East Coast, uh, mayonnaise and Northern toilet paper usually rate far higher than other brands. And those are brand names, not store brands. So you might want to rehearse so that you don't irrationally succumb to the heavily advertised high-priced stuff that's usually placed eye-level for easy picking. So. For what are you willing to spend extra on? Sometimes we go to the supermarket to just buy a couple of items, usually staples such as milk or paper goods or toiletries. Well, supermarkets deliberately place those items near the back of the store, so you have to walk past lots and lots of other stuff, so many of which are labeled to stand out on the shelves and attract your attention. Think, for example, of the bright red and yellow Doritos bags the Stouffer's Frozen Food Packages, or the Jimmy Dean Sausage Package. So you might want to rehearse in advance. Picture yourself laughing at their marketing. Go and get what you came for and get out of there. And finally, a word about flirting. If you'd like to meet a friend or romantic partner, you may shop not only for what's on the shelves, but for who's walking the aisles. There's nothing wrong with rehearsing, priming yourself. Tell yourself that when someone feels potentially compatible, you'll establish just a second of eye contact. More may seem creepy. Also, picture yourself choosing a checkout line right behind someone attractive. Maybe even if you're lucky, that person you eyed in the produce aisle. You might even think about how you'd start a conversation. For example, you might glance at their cart for an item that you like and then saying something like, hey, I like that hummus too. Of course, you needn't always be so planful, but with supermarket visits frequent and the potential for overspending, you might want to at least once rehearse. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I'm Marty Nemco. I welcome your thumbs up and accept your thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments and especially like it if you hit the share button below. Share on your social media so that my efforts can have broader impact. And I am flattered if you choose to subscribe to my channel. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemco.